our voice, we'll write the rules. We are the present and we are the future. And now, are you ready to rumble? Just said that there was a big fight in Vegas tonight and I think they got the date wrong because that's gonna happen tomorrow. Yeah, but the leader with the vision, the leader with the agenda, the leader with the movement, the leader with the guts, the next president of the United States of America, Senator Bernie Sanders! I think we're going to win here as well. So thank you all uh, very much for being here. And let me thank all those great speakers and supporters who have spoken already. Uh, let me thank Derek Marshall. Let me thank Dusty Sunshine for the music. Let me thank Linda Jones and Deborah Berger of the National Nurses United. Who have, who have stood up, we're here tonight, and have organized all over this country to demand that we end gun violence in America. And I want to thank Nura Abdullah and Robert Chentrop and Matt Deutsch and Cameron Kiske. Thanks not just only for being here. Thanks for being leaders in helping to change this country and making us a safe country. Let me thank my dear friend Naomi Klein, who as you know, is one of the great writers in America speaking out on all of the important issues, including the crisis of climate change. Naomi, thank you. Let me thank Senator Nina Turner. Senator Turner and I have worked together for years now, but what she is doing, not only here in Nevada, but all over the country, she is doing the most important work, and that is getting working people, young people, people of color involved in the political process. Yeah. Well, thank you, Senator Turner, and let me thank Congressman Chuy Garcia. we indicated they're making some big changes in Chicago, changes that are long overdue, and change is our mantra. We are going to change this country. Yeah. Our, campaign, our campaign is about two fundamental issues. Number one, obviously, is the need to defeat the most dangerous president in the modern history of this country. Our campaign, because of your support, because of the fact that here in Nevada, we've had volunteers knocking on hundreds of thousands of doors. I just came back from California two hours ago. They had close to a million doors that they have knocked on. And we're knocking on doors 
in Texas and in Massachusetts and all across the country. We are going to defeat Donald Trump because the American people understand, no matter what their political views may be, that we cannot continue having a pathological liar as president. We cannot continue having a corrupt administration. We cannot continue having a president who is undermining American democracy and our Constitution. We cannot continue having a president who is a bully, who can't even get along with people that he appointed in his administration. And every other day he's firing some guy. We cannot continue to have in our country, given our history, given the struggles that we have fought for from the inception of this country, with the terrible things done to the Native American people, we cannot continue to have a president who is a racist. We've had too much racism in this country. We cannot continue to have a president who is a sexist, who is a homophobe, who is a xenophobe, who is a religious bigot. And then he has some really bad qualities. But the truth is, and I think the American people understand that, yeah, we disagree on issues. That's called democracy. We disagree on issues. But we cannot disagree that the President of the United States is simply not the kind of man that we need to have in the White House. And the American people understand that it is time for fundamental change when we have a massive level of income and wealth inequality. And I want to be clear, because you don't hear this much on TV, you don't hear it much in the Congress, but it is not acceptable to me nor to the working families of this country that three people own more wealth than the bottom half of American society. That ain't democracy, that is oligarchy. Not acceptable when the top 1% own more wealth than the bottom 92%. Not acceptable when here in Nevada, and I've talked to many workers in Nevada, trying to get by at 10, 11, 12 bucks an hour, you got 49% of all new income going to the top 1%. American people understand that it is wrong when the Congress and Trump give tax breaks to billionaires while 500,000 people tonight in Nevada, in California, will be sleeping out on the streets. We have got to get our priorities right. We need an economy and a government that work for all of us not just the one percent. But it is not just a rigged economy. The American people, regardless of their political views, understand that we have a corrupt political system. That's it. What our campaign tries to be is honest to take the difficult issues and put them on the table, not hide them. I believe in democracy, which is one person, one vote. I do not believe in oligarchy where billions of billionaires are buying elections. The last couple of weeks, Donald Trump has been out there with his billionaire friends, gets $150,000 a person for the Republican Party. You got Michael Bloomberg worth $60 billion. Bloomberg has every right in the world to run for president. He has no right to buy the presidency.
thing people want is to end billionaire control over our political process, and that is why together we will overturn Citizens United. Why we will move the public funding of elections. And why we will tell cowardly Republican governors all over this country that they are not going to continue to suppress